I'm here with Giles Hilton, who's going to use his expertise to show us how to make the perfect espresso and cappuccino using a traditional machine. So Giles, what's the first thing that we need to do? Well, the most important thing to make a good espresso is fresh ingredients. That simply includes the water. So I've filled this tank with fresh cold water, and now I've got to prime the machine so that the hot water tank also contains fresh water. So I actually pump water through it, which will start coming out of here, and it means that's the old water coming out, fresh water in. And the machine will settle again and heat up the water, and then we can make the coffee. Now, espresso is a strong coffee, so you've got to get the right coffee. What that means is strong, high-roast coffee, quite finely ground, so that the water really has to espress through the coffee itself and make it stronger. Measure carefully, don't over-measure, you don't want to ruin it. Tamp the coffee down just gently to, again, create more pressure. And then in it goes, like that. Make us two cups, and off we go. And that is building up pressure, which is doing the brewing inside that little filter head. And in about 10 seconds, I hope, coffee will start to come out. If it's made too quickly, it means you haven't got the right uh, grind of coffee. So that's perfect, actually. It's trickling nicely into there. So that has made the perfect espresso. It's just what I look for when I'm doing the taste test. I don't want a plain black coffee. I want the crema on the top, that lovely golden crown that makes the perfect taste and style. Now, obviously, if you want to make this into a cappuccino, you need to froth the milk. I always use a metal jug. It heat, holds the heat better. I use only about one inch of milk, never more than that. You would not fill the jug and I turn the machine on to steam, let it build up pressure. It's important to move the jug up and down as you froth the milk so the steam is getting into the bottom of the milk to heat it and also in the top to take some air and blow air in to make it expand. Now it's growling like that slightly, which is a very good sign. That's when the bubbles are really building up and it starts growling and telling me that it's pretty well perfect cappuccino milk. Let's turn it off now. So I'll now make you a small cappuccino. Now that looks to me the perfect cappuccino. Nice tight bubbles, which is exactly what I look for when I do the taste test. A hint of the crema of the lovely coffee underneath. Should be a perfect mix. Thank you very much, Charles. And if you want any more advice on how to use and maintain your coffee machine, or to take a look at all of our coffee machine reviews, then visit witch.co.uk forward slash coffee machines.